I think the neat thing that, that you have there, and again, that most people do choose to do walking as their physical activity, and, and the other area that you're very uh, into is, is the interval training. And so I'm really curious to hear more about how you do interval walking training with some of your, your groups. Yeah, we have a lot of patients and also normal people that, uh, that, do, that we do interval on, and that could be swimming, rowing, but walking is super easy and everyone, ever, not everyone, but most people can walk and yeah. can do it right outside their door and even inside their house. Yeah. And the good thing with walking, interval walking is that you find an uphill, which yeah. is good for your knees, and you, you don't have to walk that fast either, so it's a, yeah. like a brisk walk. And yeah. Get out of breath. That's that's the tips from me. From me. Yeah, and you still try and do like if you're doing that. If you are going to do that higher intensity walking uphill, is it still the four minutes yeah. with, and then you try and take it easy for four minutes? Is that what? It so that's uh, what we do. We, we ask people to get out of breath for four minutes, and then they can go downhill the uphill. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and do this uh, two to four times. That's, oh, okay. that's a good uh, recommendation. And that's one of the the tips that we provide in our workshops as well when we're working with healthcare providers is um, to give people options. That's uh, another thing is, you know, can you give them direction, but then you can give them options. And one of the things that people say, well, I don't have two and a half hours to exercise, which is 150 minutes a week. And so one of the things that we also talk about is the, the intervals is a way. So uh, in Canada, you, you count uh, telephone poles. Yep. And so you walk hard for 10 telephone mm -hmm. poles, and then you walk easy for five telephone poles, yeah. and then you walk at a much more brisk pace for 10 telephone poles, and then go from that. I think that's brilliant, and I think that uh, even though you can't do 150 minutes per week or 75 minutes with high intensity, this uh, interval training is so effective that this, the, the, the side effects are so good. Right. People, what we experience is that people start to do more exercise, and yeah. the end they actually do 150 minutes yeah. or 75 minutes with high intensity. So yeah. I think it's a, a lack of time is the, the main reason for not doing exercise. So right. I think this is, uh, that doesn't count anymore, I think. Yeah, and, and that's the feedback that we get when people do it and they try it for a little bit. They go, A, I didn't realize uh, how much better I would feel by doing the more vigorous walking and uh, how much, uh, you know, from a mental health standpoint, you, you know, it helps, but then also that they don't have to go as long if they, you know, just want to do 10 or 15 minutes on their lunch hour and, and give a good vigorous walk in that they can kind of get it done and it doesn't take up their whole day, so.